Hi, everybody. March is National Nutrition Month, so we are going to spend a little bit of time talking about a theme for this year, as well as the weekly steps encouraged by the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics to ensure that you eat right. If this is your first time tuning in, I'm Kelly Houston, a registered dietitian and nutrition counselor who works with people of all ages and genders to help them eat for fuel, eat for fun, and eat for life. March is National Nutrition Month, so I'm really happy to be talking to you today about this year's theme and giving you some weekly tips on how to maximize your personal nutrition so you have plenty of energy and stamina to live your life. The yearly theme is celebrate a world of flavors. I think that is a great theme for a few reasons. Number one, the profession of dietetics in the U.S. is a predominantly white profession. This has translated into many nutrition recommendations encompassing white or European dishes and ignoring or food shaming more culturally diverse dishes, whether they relate to soul food, Indian food, Mexican food, Italian, or any other culture's traditional dishes. I'll put some resources in the notes about the whiteness of dietetics, some non-white RDs to make a point to help others incorporate their traditional cultural foods. And one of my favorite recipe sites who encourages ethnic cuisine that is kid-friendly. Number two, from a health standpoint, other cultures tend to incorporate more healthful foods than we find in the standard American diet. You'll find more seafood, beans, fruits, and veggies, and many ethnic foods. By incorporating a variety of foods and food groups, we will increase our intake of micronutrients and antioxidants. Variety is always healthy in my book. From a personal standpoint, point number three, I love exploring the cuisine of other cultures. Getting to do it for work makes it even better. Each week in National Nutrition Month also gets its own theme. Week one's theme is eat a variety of nutritious foods. If you've tuned into my previous videos, you'll have realized that variety is not a new topic for me. I encourage each meal and each snack to include a variety of food groups, at least two for snacks and at least three for meals. Eating a variety of food groups provides us with a variety mm -hmm. of macronutrients, which are carbs, fat, and protein, which will help us feel more satisfied when we eat and help us to keep blood sugar stable and energy levels consistent throughout the day. It will help us avoid energy crashes and help our body replenish and refuel after physical activity. Varying food groups also helps to provide a variety of micronutrients, which we usually think of as vitamins and minerals. Certain micronutrients that stand out would be iron in the meat or protein group and calcium in the dairy group. Greens and starches tend to have many B vitamins and certain fats are good sources of vitamin E and essential fatty acids. Phytonutrients and antioxidants could also be included in this group, which is why it's a good idea to vary the foods within food groups as well. Grocery store campaigns in the produce section to eat the rainbow are encouraging a variety of antioxidants as different antioxidants result in different food colors. Varying spices, which is easy to do when you're eating global cuisine, is also a good way to get different antioxidants. By increasing the variety of foods that we eat, it can also help us be more flexible in our food choices. As we discussed last week for Eating Disorders Week 2022, flexibility is very important in reducing disordered eating behaviors. So this week, I would love to hear, what are your favorite global recipes? How do you plan to increase your variety this month and beyond? If this video was helpful, please remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, or share. As always, if you live in Illinois or Missouri and would like a more personalized nutrition plan, or you feel that you struggle with eating in a way that fuels your life and your passions, please feel free to reach out to hello at kellyhoustonrdn.com or visit kellyhoustonrdn.com schedule. Thanks for tuning in. Take care and see you next time.